Welcome back to Good Day. Some folks say customer service is worse than ever before. This is consumer complaints are at record levels. So what can you do about it? Dan Ricardo, finance professor, University of San Diego, joins us this morning with some tips on navigating that customer service maze. Good morning, Dan. Thanks for joining us. Speak to the recorder, Leslie. You can't get a hold of the human, right? <laughs> How are you? You know, I'm good. I, I had to chat in with a customer service person yesterday for a website, and I was like, why no. can I only chat? Why can't I talk to them? I actually ended up giving them a good review because they it, it went really well, but I was really nervous. I was like, this is a pretty complex issue, and I can only chat. Yeah. You nailed it. I mean, that is really interesting. Think about it over the last year or so with artificial intelligence, you and I are basically chatting to bots rather than human beings when it comes to trying to resolve these complaints. And guess what? That's going to be the case going forward. We're, it's really hard, getting harder to talk to a human being. That's so interesting. And and so what are some things that you can do about this, Dan? I mean, can you request to talk? I, I called a restaurant yesterday and I couldn't get anybody yeah. on the phone. Right. Um, yeah, it's unbelievable. So uh, things like car buying, uh, credit card policies, home repairs, they're the biggest categories for complaints. And what I say to folks is don't be shy. So if you're not getting your issue resolved, reach out to social media, Twitter, Facebook, whatever the case may be, and talk in professional terms what your complaint is, your, your issue is. Contact senior management directly. I've done this. I've sent letters, old-fashioned letters, directly to the CEO of a company that I was getting no response from. That got me a response. And if all else fails, check out the Consumer Affairs Agency close to where you live here in Austin, Texas, and they are designed to help you resolve consumer complaints. And we're seeing, as you said, a record number. Yeah, absolutely. You know, take a look at some of the the notes that you said, you know, what are some of the best tips to actually getting something done? Like once you talk to someone, then what comes right. next? Yeah, be nice, be professional. You know, it might be therapeutic to really go off and lose your temper, but it really doesn't resolve the issue. But be persistent, don't give up. Here's a dirty little secret, Leslie. A lot of these companies expect you to give up. Don't give up, keep at it. Document everything, because you might need it later. And finally, maybe you have to file a claim. If it gets that serious and you just can't get any resolution to your issue, especially if it's an expensive issue, small claim, small claim court is the way to go. It's relatively easy to use, relatively cheap, and you will get a response. Yeah. On, on these, Dan, when, do you, when is it okay to just give up? I know you, you put on there like file a claim. How do you know when, when it's something that you should just give up on? You know, I'm glad you asked that question. Just yesterday, I was also on the phone with a restaurant that uh, did us wrong. They said they were going to do a refund for something. Refund never happened. It was all of about 40 bucks. And my daughter was in the room listening to my conversation. And she said, Dad, just give up. It's not worth the 40 bucks. To me, it was worth 40 bucks. <laughs> so <laughs> it's really a question of how you want to spend your time, I guess, Leslie. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Well, my question was about a food allergy, so I might just give up on the restaurant and move yeah. on. <laughs> That's it. Good, good advice. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate you as always. Dan Ricardo, a finance professor with University of San Diego. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Have a great weekend. You too. We'll be right back.